To my church family, I would say this. Uh, children in the ministry is one of the most important ministries in the church. And if I did say that and you ever hear me say that, correct me because it's not true. Children's ministry is not one of the most important. It is the most important ministry in the church. And it needs to continue to be our priority. Uh, the greatest gift you can give a child is a healthy marriage. The greatest gift you can give a child is an opportunity for them to build an identity rooted and established in Christ and give them the freedom to do that with their peers and let them have fun in the process. And we should be grateful for the leadership of Julie Hughes as our children's ministry director and what she's done over the years to build this ministry to the point it is now. Uh, as I look back on some of the highlights of last year, here's what I, here's what I know. It seems like I was baptizing some serious children for a while there. That was like a, a run on kids. Uh, what precipitated that? What did we do to bring these kids to this point where they were coming to Christ? Well, I mean, I think a lot of the ones that we got baptized this year were coming on a continual basis, you know, that they're really growing, you know, a little at a time. It's not the one vacation Bible school, but it's all the things that happen week Amen. in and week That's out. True. But we did have, we always see an influx after VBS because, and I think because we do teach on it, you know, we teach on baptism, what it means. And once they're saved, which I am praise is that most of our, from all that I know, all of our regular families that attend on a regular basis, all those children have received Jesus. And so just that next step is getting baptized and demonstrating that to your community and your church. And so this year, yeah, we, you had eight this year, Pastor Gary, of kids um, post-vacation Bible school and during our summer that um, jumped in the water, excited to and receive What, what I like about that, Julie, is, you know, you, you don't just explain salvation so that they can go get baptized. In fact, there may have been an opportunity or two, I can't remember, where we decided maybe we need to wait. Yeah. Um, that we need a better understanding of what salvation is before we go out here and, and, and uh, exemplify something other than that. So I'm glad we've done that. Um, but I like the depth. I love the depth that we're, we're uh, bringing these kids into. They have to have a deeper walk yeah. uh, in this world. Absolutely. And if we, if we sacrifice depth for number mm -hmm. or emotion or feelings or whatever, mm -hmm. we're sacrificing these little lambs. We're, we're not setting them up for success. Right. So I love that. And I love the fact that you know that wherever possible, they need to be providing ministry to their peers as well. Yes. Yeah. So talk a little bit about that and your leadership structure and how people are serving in the ministry right now. Well, um, you know, children's ministry takes many hands. And and this year in particular, my hands have been few <laughs> as I've had uh, the blessing of Sweet Soraya. And so just the amazing team that we have in children's ministry. I mean, I was counting, we have over 50 um, that help week in, week out, vacation Bible school, overnight camp. And it's all those touches, all those hearts, all those hands that just have really, really blessed these kids and built this ministry. People say, how did you write vacation Bible school or do this and do that and all? And I'm like, I didn't. It's like, you know, you, the Lord gives you an idea or a small word and then you share it and then the next person and they just come together and before I knew it we had an amazing vacation Bible school just as an example um, and as far as service goes uh, these kids are getting an opportunity once they reach youth age um, and that was something I've loved to see year after year is our youth that have now graduated into youth ministry with D Pastor David is that they are really serving and pouring back into children's ministry. So that's the best example for these kids. And vacation Bible schools year after year used to be more adults. Now we have almost as many youth coming to vacation know, Bible school that, yeah. as kids. And they're leading, like they're really serving in leadership and they're up there doing worship and they're actually helping write the skits performing the skits. I mean, it's just yeah. incredible. I'm encouraged 13, 14, 15, 16-year-olds are taking on leadership positions. Yes, That's absolutely. what we want. Sharing and that consistency will do that to yeah. you. Um, also, um, the retention rate of people, adults, who serve our children uh, is much higher among those who feel like they're serving uh, in a community. Yeah. Um, so if you feel like you're in a church and you want something to do and you have experience in children's ministry or you're teachable, 
Uh, there's more to it than that. You're going to end up making friends. Yes, it's like a family over there. Yeah, you're going to end up being yeah. a family. Yeah. You're going to do things socially together. You're going to be in one another's homes. You're going to eat dinner together. You're going to serve together. Yeah. And it's going to be a part of your life. That's We're right. not just talking about an occasional drop by on a Sunday morning. We don't want that, actually. No, no. We want we want the relationships, and um, and we just absolutely love our team, and we have so much fun. Um, make a lot of mess, <laughs> oh, yeah. and clean up a lot of messes, and but it's just it's really so fun, and. Um, I know like with our overnight camp, those leaders that come that are in bunk beds for five days, <laughs> four nights and five days, man, are they blessed. Maybe a few kinks here and there in their neck, but they are so blessed. And uh, just those relationships that are formed with those kids is, I mean, like the message is incredible, but what the kids are gonna remember is those people and those intimate relationships. Um, and them demonstrating that to Jesus, you Amen. know. One of my favorite highlights, uh, you'd ask for highlights from like overnight camp. You know, you would think that the slip and slide or the bubble soccer or the, all these things were like their highlight, right? Well, when you ask the kids, the majority was the worship on the mountain, yeah. which you had suggested to me to make sure there's an intimate time where they walk quietly to the top of the mountain and have worship, and they love that time. We keep it as like a sacred one night part of the trip, but they love it. I even had one little boy when we were getting ready to do s'mores after dark, and he just said, Miss Julie, can I just sit at the cross a little <laughs> longer? There's a cross up there on the mountain, and Amen. I just... You know, that's what we're looking for in 2024 and ongoing is just intimacy sure. uh, with the Lord, with each other, um, just a oneness. I, w I admit I may have been a little pushy three years ago when we first started that first overnight camp for our grade schoolers. Most people go, well, they're not old enough to do that. Well, they're plenty old enough to do that. Yeah. And, they, and, and frankly, I think they benefit from getting some time away from the family to establish like what does my faith look like right that's what we're looking for is that yeah. it be a personal that they they're personally hearing from God that they're per that it's a personal relationship you yeah. know the they need when they graduate and they get older and they go away you know they're going to remember no the Lord told me this like exactly. and he and he showed himself to me this way that it's personal and no one can take that away from them yeah um, they may be to get a little homesick the first night yeah. or two or whatever but um, I want to commend you on what you've done with that and stay consistent yeah. these children establishing their own uh, personal faith mm -hmm. Uh, not in opposition to their parents, but separate from it, even yeah. for a small period of time, I think is quite healthy. Yeah. And uh, they're going to need that when they go out into this world. Mom and dad are going to be standing there telling them what to say or how to pray. That's right. And they're better equipped for it. Right. So uh, anything else you want to share about what's coming up in 2024? Um. A lot more family fun opportunities. Now we have Erin and she's so awesome, part of our team and just organizing events. We, we just want to get all of our families back and just the fun fellowship together, uh, just to really build up our body and, and the families. You know, families are so busy these days just to have some fun opportunities um, and to get to know one another. We really want to walk alongside our families together. And that happens, it's not just a Sunday morning, you know, Amen. it's all the little touches. So more family fun. Um, I know we're going to start doing some Stones of Remembrance, which is kind of cool. You know, there's some amazing things happened in 2023 in 2022 and we might you know forget and we don't want to forget things like Catherine Wise was healed um, you know just in our community and the kids got to be a part of that like through sure. overnight camp they were praying every day and we would get a report back and uh, and just their faith being built up of how God's working in a little girl's life in our community I love it. so we want to remember all those things that happen in our families and our church and our community I want you to know that we don't have like some special gospel <laughs> that, we, that we use for our children. Hey, there's one gospel. That's right. And uh, we, we give the truth to our children and expect of them and expect of God to plant that seed and bury it deep. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, let the word of God dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. We have wise children. They're not even that old, but they're wiser than a lot of people. Yeah. I can tell you that. So continue to pray for, for Julie and... Um, and for her leadership team and for the children's ministry. 
and uh, open your heart and mind possibly to serving in some capacity, uh, maybe in an event, a one-time thing, meet some people, get involved, who knows what God will do. Uh, but we thank you for your leadership and your thank ministry, you. and uh, we've got a great year ahead. So Sweet enjoy day. your ha happy New Year celebrations, and we'll get back down to business right after the first of the year. Amen. Thank you.